Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video with Ling Ling. Today I'm gonna do another book review. And remember, when I'm doing a book review, I put the link below to in the description box um, to the book so you can find it and read it yourself. This is definitely worth a read. And yes, I don't have it in my hand because I usually buy the Kindle version so I can read it on my computer because I do move around a lot and if I bought books all the time, it would be my fan. It would be trouble. Yes. So without further ado, let's get started on this video. Yes. There we go. Um, today's book review is about the book called Factory Girls from Village to City in a Changing China. The book is written by Leslie Chang, who is Hua Ren, a girl who is Chinese heritage but grew up abroad. She went back to China to um, explore the Chinese society and culture and also to go and discover and explore her own family history. So this book is a mix between her own story and the story of the factory girl she is meeting in the city called Dongguan. Actually, I thought it was really funny because the first time I came to China, I was actually teaching in Dongguan. And every time I say that to people, people are like, oh, why, why, why were you in Dongguan? <laughs> Basically, Dongguan is the factory town of China. Like, it has everything there. Dongguan is producing literally everything. Well, Guangdong area, like the province, is producing everything, but Dongguan is like massive. It started as a small village and then it turned into this extremely big city. Why? Just because it was full of factories and it was close to the Hong Kong border and it was in the economic zone after uh, Deng Xiaoping, he opened up China and you know that drill. If you don't know the Chinese history, um, then please go and search it because this video is going to be too long if I have to talk about that as well. Anyways, this book is written from the beginning of the 2000s, what is that called, the zeros? Mm. I don't know, 2000 and, and 2, 3, 4 or something. And uh, she's staying in Dongguan or like going back and forth from Beijing to Dongguan a lot. Dongguan is down in the south. And she's meeting up with these factory girls and then she's basically interviewing them and writing the story on the basis of their experiences and their life um, in this town. And she also goes uh, home with one of the factory girls to um, talk to her parents and family and explore and you know learn more about uh, the Chinese rural villages, the rural people there as well. It's really really interesting to see how was China beforehand because I came here which, when China was already you know quite developed and I've been in villages as well but people still have iPhones and uh, and, and like big TV screens um, but I want to know what was it like before I also read a lot of history books from a long time ago uh, during the Mao revolution blah 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 those kind of things but this is like newer history which is super super interesting for us who are really interested in Chinese um, um, how, how China developed to what it is today if that makes sense I really like to know where did it all come from how did it start and who was uh, who, who were the people who helped build up China and who were the people who helped produce, uh, produce every single champion, a product we are using abroad, right? Made in China? Yeah, we all know made in China. But who are these people who did the made in China things, right? So this is the answer you get if you read this book and as I said she's also going to explore her own uh, family history and she's going through that and telling the story of how her parents and grandparents and grand -grand great grandparents um, they left China and came back and left and came back so interesting I would love to have a family history like that like if you ask my dad my family is quite boring uh, compared to her story I would say they were all farmers in the Danish countryside and uh, one guy was gay but nobody told about talked about it so that's another story anyways book review here Ling Ling focus <laughs> sorry um yeah and a very easy read it's an interview it's also a story but it's an, a very easy read the thing is that the book was written already like 10 years ago i think <clears throat> eight years ago so a lot have, has happened since then but 
it's still very interesting and it gives you a great view of how the factories are working and how the people in the factories are living. There were a lot of things I didn't know and I was like, wow, is that really their reality? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So guys, if you have a little time on your hand, please check out this book, Factory Girls, From Village to City in a Changing China. You get to know a lot of new modern history. Well, I don't know if it's history yet, but you know how China developed into what it is today and uh, who was doing it. Anyways, check the link below and also if you have read the book, please comment below and let me know what you think about it. If, uh, um, if you liked it or if you didn't like it or if you have any, you know, whatever, please let me know. I love to discuss with you guys. Also, if you decide to buy the book, then please let me know afterwards if you liked it or not. I hope you did. I really, really liked it. So yeah, L put some uh, comments below and let's talk. Talk, talk, talk. This was the book review for today. Ling Ling is out again. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Mwah, mwah. Bye bye.